let's use our Foxit to digitally sign a PDF file. I have a document open here and I'm go, going to go into the Protect ribbon and then from the Protect ribbon I have an option to sign and certify. I'm going to use the drop down and I'm going to look at the digital IDs and I don't have any. So I'm going to add a digital ID and it prompts me for two choices an existing digital ID that I already have or a new digital ID. I'm going to select a new one and there will be two choices because I'm not actively signed on to a domain I'm going to do a new PKCS or public key certificate and I'm going to say next. Now everything here I must ensure is typed correctly. And the organizational unit we'll just say security and the name we're just going to say self-employed. And the email address I'm just going to leave that and let's see if it'll allow me to. The country and what is the algorithm I'm going to use to sign this? I'm going to leave it as the default. Now what is this going to be for? Digitally signing it, encryption, or both? I'm going to leave it as both. Notice that is required. So I'm just going to enter a random one in here and then here it wants me to digitally sign, pardon me, add a password and it will create this PFX file. So let me just type in a password and verify that password and it has created this. Now if I select it here I can look at the details of the certificate and the path. Now it's not trusted therefore I do get this little indicator that appears to be a problem. It's actually not a problem. Now I'm going to install that certificate on the local machine and where will I place it? I'm going to leave it in the default location and I'm going to finish it up. Now that is available on this machine. Now that I have a digital ID I can go ahead and, and sign this document. So I can place a signature and notice the little pop-up explains. I can certify with a visual signature or without a visual signature. I'm going to place my signature. Now notice what my mouse looks like. I'm going to move it to the upper left and I'm going to draw a box and I'm going to wait a moment and it comes up with the one that I just created and the password and the location. If I wanted to add a location notice it's filtered in here and the reason I'm signing it there is a variety and I'm going to sign that. I'm going to save this as a new signed document and there's my signature and it is trying to connect with the timestamp. I had added a timestamp to this document previously and it's all signed and it's good. Now of course if we close it and then we reopen it we can see the signature and if you click on it it tells me it was valid and that's how easy it is to both create and then sign a PDF with Foxit. If you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe.